Three friends order three pizzas. The total is $30, so each friend pays $10. A few minutes later, the clerk realizes the bill should only have been $25 because of a new special of three pizzas for $25. He takes five $1 bills out of the cash register. Since the friends are not aware of the special, he has a lapse of judgment and gives each of the three friends $1 and keeps $2 as a tip for himself. So each friend paid $9 for a total of $27 and the clerk kept $2 for himself. So that would be $27 plus $2 equals $29. If the friends originally paid $30, where is the other $1? So if you haven't seen this problem before, I hope you'll pause the video and see if you can determine where the missing dollar is. To explain what's happening here, let's track where the $30 goes. We know the three friends paid $30, where $25 was for the pizza, and they paid $5 extra. So let's start by saying that $25 plus $5 equals $30. So again, of the $30, $25 was for the pizza, and they paid $5 extra. Now the clerk took these five extra dollars, kept two of the dollars, and returned three dollars to the friends. So let's write this five dollars as two dollars plus three dollars. So we have twenty-five dollars plus two dollars plus three dollars still equals thirty dollars. Now the clerk returns these three dollars, so to show this, let's subtract three dollars from both sides of the equation. So minus three dollars here, and minus three dollars here. So three dollars minus three dollars is zero. So now we have twenty-five dollars plus two dollars equals twenty-seven dollars. So this equation here shows us there's no missing dollar. The pizzas cost $25, but they also paid a tip unknowingly to the clerk of $2, and therefore they paid a total of $27, or $9 each. So again, of the $27 they paid, $25 was for the pizzas, and this $2 was a tip to the clerk. So once again, there is no missing dollar. The issue is, there's a problem with this equation here. These $27 here, again include, the $25 for the pizzas, and the $2 tip for the clerk. So if we add $2 to this $27, notice how we're adding the tip twice, which is not what happened in this situation. So this total of $29 is meaningless in this situation because there's a flaw in the logic of forming this equation. Again, $27 was paid, $25 was for the pizza, and unknowingly, $2 went to the clerk. And one last comment about this given equation here, if we did take the $27, which we now know is a total amount paid, and then instead of adding the tip of $2, if we subtracted the $2 tip, notice how we get $25, which is the cost of the three pizzas. So by subtracting the $2, we do have a meaningful equation, unlike the given equation that doesn't have meaning in this situation. I hope you found this explanation helpful.